Hi, I'm Rosa. Thank you for joining me. Uh, last time I showed you an organizing video, I showed you how I organized my butler's pantry, which is right behind me. So I'm going to show you how it looks now. It's been a couple weeks later, and I'm going to work on the next part of the butler's pantry. So come along. There's not much room to get the camera in here, but this is my butler's pantry, one side of it. Both sides are exactly the same. And the other side is my husband's stuff. And this is where I keep some of my stuff. So I basically have kept this organized for the last couple of weeks or so. Um, the only thing that lives there now is my Bible. And sometimes I'll put something there, but I've tried to keep it clear and it's been working out really well. And as far as the cabinet goes, it has maintained an orderly existence. Oops, sorry about that. And you can see we still have the wine bottles up there. Coffee on the top shelf. Coffee mugs, coffee tins, and some other accessories on the next shelf. This shelf is all tea and coffee and drink related items. And I also showed you before that I put in a type of riser extender so that I could fit more items in this cabinet. But it looks good and I'm very pleased with it. And the counter has stayed clean but what I did not organize was this drawer. I'm going to show you what it looks like. See how things in here don't fit? It's not a very deep drawer, but what I keep in here are towels for the kitchen, some lotions and stuff that I may need while I'm in this part of the house, so I keep them in here. It's all my stuff, nobody else goes in here. And for that reason, I have a little stash of chocolate so that no one takes it from me. <laughs> it's not community property. Um, Fitbit stuff, straws, oh, what is this? Look at Band-Aid. All right, so, I'm going to go through here and clean it up and take you with me. And we are going to have an organized butler's pantry drawer. When organizing, I don't suggest that you take everything out of a drawer or, well, it's just a drawer, but everything out of one area to organize it um, because it can become overwhelming. So I believe in taking small bites and this is just one small drawer. So I'm going to take everything out to organize it and put it back in and I have purged a lot of the towels before so there isn't too much that needs to be purged from this drawer but if I find something I'm going to get rid of it and I can keep my aprons in here because it's a handy place to It's a handy place to get them out of when I am cooking. few manuals in here for my coffee makers. Okay. 
Now that didn't take long. The drawer is completely empty. And here is the pile of stuff that has to go back in. I just need to figure out if I'm getting rid of anything and then allocate that or put that where it goes. So I'm not going to put any dividers or anything in here. Like I said, it's a shallow drawer and I'm going to not spend any money and just work with what I have. So this is a cute Thanksgiving apron that I did not wear this past Thanksgiving. But I like it and I'm going to keep it. I really like wearing an apron because it saves my clothing from spatters. I don't have a crazy amount of aprons just enough. And I still want to keep my stash of chocolates here. They're going in different directions, but it's okay. I guess it's not okay, I changed it. This drawer is clean except for a little bit of stuff right in the corners. are pretty but I'm going to set them aside and take them to our travel trailer and I'll use them over there because I need some new towels over there I have this lotion I'm going to keep in here. The cleaning tablets for 
my coffee maker. I'm going to continue to keep my straws in here because they're mine. And at least I know where they are. My stash of lotions. My Fitbit band. It seems like a strange place to put it, but at least I know it's here. Can you tell I like this Trader Joe's lotion? This is a eyeglass cleaner kit. I'm gonna put that somewhere else along with the liquid band-aids. This is a key to roll up the lotion, so I can keep that in here. This with the medicines, a cleaning cloth, does not go in here either, my manuals for the coffee maker do, because I remember they're here, and then I have extra cords, which I like keeping in here because that way no one steals them from me. And my Fitbit charger. And this one is for an older Fitbit. Yep, this one can go in the garbage. And I forgot I had put a spare pair of reading glasses in here. But that, that looks pretty good. Now, let me get rid of all this. All right, everything's gone to its appropriate location. My door is clean, I got a task done, and let me turn the camera around and show you. Here is the drawer. It opens fine, that one, this one moved a little bit. But it's cleaned up. We have the coffee cleaning tablets and coffee maker stuff. My straws, stainless steel straws, all the towels, and the aprons, reading glasses, oops, sorry, my lotions, and my cords. And my cords look messy, but they are good. As long as I'm good with them, that's all that matters. And I have a little bit of space. And one of the reasons I wanted to go through this is if I have some towels that I no longer want to use, I want to make sure that I got them out of here. And I want to be able to buy a pretty new kitchen towel if I come across it. 
and not have a bunch laying back. So these are a little bit worn. I'll use them a little bit and then get rid of them. But it looks pretty good and I'm happy with it. Thank you so much for joining me as I organize this pantry drawer. I appreciate that you came by and I hope that you'll subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.